Originally, when I asked Spirit about this character, I got the Five of Cups together with the Three of Swords, right? So I wanted more clarification to see what this energy is all about because I'm not getting good vibes from this energy at all. Now, it is speaking to me on walk, you know, past heartbreak. Um, so that may be something that he's coming out of both of us honestly but um so upon more clarification for the five of cups i got the page of cups two of wands and the eight of wands and this is exactly how they came out together which he's kind of already presented me with an offer in a sense right um <laughs> this is about making a choice and there's already been swift communication because as soon as I accepted the friend request he popped into my messenger so yeah I mean he sounds like he's definitely going through a transformation himself and you know he sounds connected and, and spiritual and everything but like he said in his video you know it's action so I don't really know and I would definitely have to take time to see you know um but then in further clarification of the three of swords the first that came out was the devil alone and I asked for further clarification from spirit and then I got the seven of swords in reverse which is you know, pretty good sign that likely um, this heartbreak, depression, you know, that's definitely tied to that devilish energy because that's where the devil, that's the devil's playground is in your mental body, right? So if you're not balanced and stable and grounded and everything, the devil will take over and plant seeds of confusion. So, but to see this is definitely a good sign I think and then um, I got the hanged man so like I said I already knew I, it's going to take time to look at things from a different perspective you know taking things at face value interestingly enough and what I was really stuck on is when I asked for clarification specifically for the devil card I get the empress and I don't know if I really like that. <laughs> I mean, I'm not really feeling that. Like, for the devil, like, that's somebody, you know, who's, mm, I don't know, ruthless in manifestations. That's what I'm getting. Like, just not really good energy. Even though this Empress is generally beautiful energy, this is like, I just I don't know and then <laughs> the literally when I flipped asking for more clarification or in, insight as to why the Empress came out with the devil this page of wands flipped exactly like this over these two over the seven of swords in verse and the hangman so it's like that's they're telling me that the offer right is is kind of in a standstill like take time to to really look at it from a different perspective and, and make sure but then of course on further uh, the bottom of the deck energy and further clarification of this because it really just had me kind of like what <laughs> um first was the four of cups initially on the bottom of the deck followed by the seven of cups followed by the ten of swords and all of this is just not really good energy to me I mean I'm not feeling it at all um it's like I don't even see this generally I kind of see the four of cups as kind of taking something for granted or not being appreciative but then with these two it's like 
this is even though i love this seven of cups card in this deck it's still like you know seven of cups can be kind of illusory is that a word <laughs> it is today illusionary or whatever type of energy like things are not really what they seem so be careful and don't be tricked because i know on some of the decks you know you may have a serpent you may have a mask where you know somebody's if that's the cup you choose and then somebody's wearing a false mask you know it's illusionary it's eluding you um but this seven of cups i lot i love this card because i see this as you know like any option is a great option because they're all running over and filling each other up right but to come out with the in between these i'm not really getting good good vibes at all um although it is kind of on one end it is saying that you know i'm at the end of this self-sabotaging you know stabbing us like falling for the illusion right I'm I'm seeing things more for at face value for what they are and believing what I see, you know, going with my intuition and I think that may be why she came out over the the devil like you know, I'm seeing through that. No longer will I be fooled by illusions. because the truth will always set you free and it's going to come to light no matter what and then after flipping these from the bottom of the deck originally <laughs> I end up with the nine of wheels beautiful so yeah I'm on my independent path like I don't even need you know no like if you want to be on this journey with me if you're going to be down you know for the ride if you're gonna be in the in the mode to uh, help me uplift elevate then okay but otherwise you got to go <laughs> and i'm not holding my tongue for anybody because i'm focused on what i need and what i want and i'm gonna defend what i stand for regardless look at them wolves down there <laughs> yeah come at me if you want to Mm -hmm. I don't even got to put up my wand Because they going to handle it for me That's my spirit squad Like try me There it looks like it's actually something in this cup Somebody's about to bow down <laughs> Yeah I'm just waiting for my ships to come in because I know it's coming I'm not rushing into anything I am in that hangman energy look because my squad has already passed the judgment I love this card it's so pretty it's just beautiful the judgment has already been made so all I gotta do is wait for the divine time and stay balanced continue to heal That five energy going through that transformation. Learning not to be indecisive, but relying on my intuition. Because the truth <laughs> shall set you free. And it's coming swiftly. Look at that. And then we'll stop here. It's divine. Hmm. Interesting. 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 Be patient. Alright. So. Let me know if I'm tripping. Um. I don't even know what that was. I don't even know how to take it. I don't even know why Spirit presented this guy. Like, what's the purpose? Is what I keep asking. 
And I'm going to dive deeper into it, of course, you know, get my own guidance. All I know is just from the reading that you saw, you know, it's looking at things from a different perspective. But just to give a little insight and why I'm kind of in a place of what the what just happened <laughs> is because, you know, y'all know how it is when when you you don't know nobody. I mean, not. You don't know the person, but you just, you know, you're kind of reaching out, trying to feel them out, trying to get to know. At this point in my life, I am straight shooter. Like, don't even, I don't even really, I don't want to, whatever. I don't care how it sounds. Basically, what I'm, what I'm saying is like, you know, in the dating phase where you, um, and it's not even dating. It's just where you, when you don't, when you meeting somebody, right? And you, you trying to exchange numbers or whatever the case may be. However, you're trying to get to know this person to see if you even want to talk to this person, right? You give them your time or even your energy, right? So in that stage, think back to that stage if you are in a relationship already. And then those of you who are single, you know, you understand what I'm really talking about. <clears throat> so from the previous reading, I, um, you know, I already knew that, that this was going to be it was quick. It was swift because I didn't even do the reading until after I had received the, um, uh, uh, after I had accepted the friend request and received communication from him. And so, I mean, you, like I checked out the profile, a few little posts and all that, but you can't, social media is social media. Like people lie on social media. I'm not saying he's lying or whatever. I'm just saying you got to take what you get at face value, right? So, you know, people put up a good front on social media is all I'm saying. I'm not saying he is. I'm just saying. Um, so anyway, so I just kind of take, take, especially stuff that I get off social media with a grain of salt. Because you still, even, even when you feel like you truly know somebody, you really don't. <laughs> you really don't. Which is kind of a be the beauty in it because you got to constantly get to know them right because if you're changing and steadily transforming then even you yourself should be a new vessel where you're even if you are in a relationship it should always be that well let me get to know you type of you know feel which will keep the spark alive honestly and truly so i'm not opposed to that at all but all i'm just trying i just i'm a straight shooter in the sense that don't don't play with me you know what i mean like just don't just come and he's 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 said that he's made his stance very clear so i guess where i'm at is i offered a because and i've offered this to everybody a free tarot reading right and i know people are at different stages in their life to where they a lot of people it's even though the the the, the world of um psychic mediumship and tarot readings and because of social media and and the internet and everything it's more open there's more knowledge about it there's more of an awakening um family uh, um like group of people right so it's more prominent it's more well known than what it used to be it's not so taboo anymore but at the same time you have the upper um what am I trying to say? The high, the, the, I don't want to make them sound old, but you have the, you know, older generations, you know, the old school, let me put it like that, where they're not even really hip to more and more becoming, uh, you know, are getting into the YouTube and, and Facebook and da da da. But that doesn't mean that that's what they see, right? Because we all know the social media, whether it's Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, whatever the, the, the platform is, they cater to what you, um, search or what you are on the most. That's why they do like Google does the analytics and all that stuff to track you, to see what you were interested in. And then that is what they put in your face constantly. Right? So that doesn't, well, I say that to say just because the world of psychic mediumship and tarot readings and all that stuff is more prominent, especially for the younger generations. That doesn't mean that the older generations have access to it, nor do they, we don't, you know, nor do they probably care to even see, um, watch it or 
get more not gain more knowledge about it. The reason I'm even saying all this is because I offered <laughs> I offered a free reading to him, just like I've done everybody else, right? Who who comes across my path and who um, has shown interest in my spirituality, um, or show any kind, you know, whatever whoever spirit leads me to offer it to, that's what I do. Now I know that my, I I, my, I can't impose or try to influence anybody out of any beliefs you're gonna believe what you believe right and i'm not trying to take that away from anybody at all i just um my thing is and don't try to impose your beliefs onto me right because i'm gonna believe what i believe um but i guess i'm kind of like i don't really know how to take it because um when i did offer that i think that's just where the line of communication just dropped because he thought that in order for him to talk to me, even just on a friend, friendly level, that he had to do this or I wouldn't talk to him. I never said that. I never said that. All I did, literally y'all, was say, I'm offering um, a free tarot reading. You can ask up to three questions. Same thing I tell everybody. You can ask up to three questions. I'll give you the transcript or the reading, you know, the, what I, the results basically back in email form. Um, and then, you know, all I ask is feedback, you know, do I fulfill, did I fulfill your needs or your, answer your questions? Um, and would you recommend me right to family and friends? Well, I don't think he liked that. I don't know what, I don't know what, what really ruffled his feathers, but he was just like, you know, I'm, I'm not a, um, I, I don't know his exact words I'm quoting, but basically like, you know, I'm not hard up. I'm not trying to go through all this to talk to no woman. And I'm just like, okay. <laughs> cause he had, he had already given me his number, you know, cause I told him I was busy doing a reading and, um, he had already given me his number. Like, okay, well I'm not, you know, trying to rush you. Just, I'm here anytime. I'm not going nowhere. Okay. And then that's when I had, you know, offered it to him. But yeah. So I don't, like I said, I don't know what he, I don't know what he read into what I wrote, but I clearly did not say that you got to do this or else. <laughs> like that's a choice. I said, I'm offering. You don't have to accept it. That's okay. But if you feel that way, then there's something that's already convicting you and I'm good because then after that, I, cause I told him straight up, like, I don't know where the line of communication failed, but I said, I did not say that. And you can go back and read. I mean, that's why, they're, you know, the receipts is right there. You can see everything I wrote. Reread it, please, and make sure you understand. I said, I'm not sure where you lost understanding, but that's not what I said. And that's not what I implied at all. I never said that. Never did I meant that. I don't even know where you, you came out of left field with this to me, quite honestly. You got me over here confused. <laughs> yes, confused. I know how to say confused, but got me all like, what? Nah. And so, um which like the cards never lie. And that's pretty much what came out in the cards. That's why I said, I wasn't feeling that. I wasn't feeling that. Cause then he leaves me a voicemail, a little video voice clip saying, well, pause, let me rewind because I'm jumping ahead. So, so when he comes back after that, you know, he says, well, I, uh, he, he said, I'm, uh, I believe in God. How do you say it? Like, I believe in God and I, Basically, like, I don't need no God. I don't need nobody else to, to try to show me or tell me the way. You know what I'm saying? Like, God know my heart. That ain't got shit to do with shit. And so I told him, I said, I believe in the same God you're referring to, buddy. Like, I don't know what you, I don't know what you, I said, I work. I said, I'm just a messenger of God. Don't get it twisted. I don't know what you, what are you implying? Like, what are you trying to say? That ain't making sense, you know? It's okay. I said, I'm not, uh, I said, what I do is nothing to, um, I said, it has nothing to do with your connection or, you know, you know, what you believe in, nothing like that. I said, if anything, it just adds value. That's what people need to understand. And, you know, when they come from first, before you try to attack, try to understand if you don't know, cause really that's what, that's where miscommunication and misunderstandings and, in 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 arguments and like just um, strife happens because people don't understand one they, and, and they don't care to listen or to try to gain an understanding before they pop off. 
Not saying he popped off. I'm just saying before you react, try to under, try to gain an understanding or look at things from a different perspective because you all wrong, brother. You all wrong. And, um, so anyway, and that, that, that was just my, that was my cue. And I was just like, you know, cause it, cause I had asked him, I was like, you know, well, what even made you seek me out to even ask, you know what I'm saying? To be my friend. Cause I didn't, I didn't come for you. You came for me. And then, you know, what made you reach out is what I asked him even before offering him, you know, this, this, uh, the reading or whatever. Right. And, uh, yeah. So I don't know. He just, like I said, that was, I was, but I was still just like, okay, spirit, like what was the reason for that? But what really kind of cut the cake for me is the fact that he came back even after I said that was a whole misunderstanding because that is not what I implied because he was basically like, you know, I'm not going to go through, basically go through all these hoops, which I never put out there. You put that out there, sir, um, to just to talk to me. And I was like, okay. But he was basically like, so, you know, peace out okay bye like <laughs> you came for me like i didn't ask i didn't send for you and then you know it ain't no hard feelings whatsoever you know i'm trying to help you out but but what cut the cake for me is the fact that he said in the video clip he made he made a point to say he's pentecostal and that he follows jesus and if if his words if you don't follow Jesus any longer, then basically we ain't got nothing to talk. Like, then you don't, then you, then I need to listen to it again because his words were basically to the point like, but if you don't follow Jesus, like I ain't got nothing for you. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, unless you either follow Jesus or else is, is pretty much what he said. And, um, I just, I don't agree. Oh, and then the other thing that he said is, um, uh, how did he put it? Like, um, how did he put it? Oh, God. I forgot exactly how he put it, but it really just, it kind of just... Oh, he was like, um, you sound like, cause, cause I took, cause the, when I told him, I said, I'm offering you this free reading, just like I offer everybody else. It's not just you, you know? So I, cause I think he kind of felt like I might've been, I don't know what he felt. I, I'm not even going to assume or put words in his mouth, but, but I was just trying to make it known that you're not the only one that I'm offering this to. So it's not like I'm singling you out or making you do anything extra. Cause again, I wasn't even telling you that you had to do this for you to talk to me. So anyway, but what he was, what he said was, um, I, uh, I'm just trying to help me. I, and you sound like you trying to, uh, uh, save the world or some kind of way he put it. Yes, I am. <laughs> yes. That's the mission. Cause he, you know, he, he was talking and it, and I kind of understood what he said, but it's just the way that he said it. Because in one of his videos, he was saying, you know, like, you got, you got to let go of people, places, and things. Like, basically, everything and everybody can go with you. And I that I understand the most. Um, so I think that's what he really meant, but it's just the way that he said it. It's like, damn, dude. Like, I mean, we all changing and transforming. And yes, we all got to work on ourselves. But at the same time, if somebody is seeking, like, if you a child of God and right and, and, and you follow Jesus, like Jesus wasn't selfish and just trying to trying to better himself. He was trying to help the masses. And that's what it's all about. So I don't understand why he would say that. So yeah, you can go on about your business. It's cool. Like, no hard feelings. Cause you just show 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 me, you know, what you truly about. Whether or not he meant it that way, that's what you I mean, he made it clear. So I don't know. That's that's one reason why I'm just kind of like, <laughs> Spirit, what is it? You know, and why are you sending me these people? I mean, I know why you you testing me, but mm -mm. Mm. I don't know. so I still got yet to figure out what that. Uh, and that's probably why that devil card came out because that's some. 
that's some toxic stuff. I mean, you got to really, you got to, you still got to know yourself to know that use your own discernment to know what and who you're not taking with you as you go along your journey. But at the same time, you are still meant to go through this life helping those in need and those who seek. And that's all I was trying to get him to understand. Like I was telling him to share, you know, I had shared my YouTube channel and everything with him trying to um, basically let him know, you know, that's what my platform is about. And that's what I told him. I said, if you want to know more of what I do, then check check out my channel you ain't I, I can see that you ain't even probably bothered to take a look at it because that's not what I'm about <laughs> at all and like uh shouts out to my girl pretty boss like get down and lay down period like that's the point that I'm at you either down for the ride for this journey or just lay down and stay where you at you know and that's okay Whichever option you choose is perfectly okay. What choose what's best for you. I understand not everybody's equipped for this. It's no hard feelings. I don't judge. I try not to, you know what I'm saying? When they say don't you judge lest you judge yourself, first judge yourself. So shit. We in this together. And that's but that's kind of why I'm just like, what the hell just happened? And why did I feel like you just tried to persecute me because for whatever reason, just because I do tarot readings, you feel like I don't follow Jesus. Like what? Jesus helps me every day. <laughs> Thank you. Every day. But that doesn't mean you have to follow Jesus and Jesus alone. No. You got your angels, your archangels, your spirit guides, your ancestors. You got a whole spirit squad to help you. And I, I think people really just, it's the ignorance that, that, that has kept us kind of bonded in bondage. And that's why, probably why that devil card came out as well. And I'm not calling him ignorant at all. I'm just saying, I mean, if the shoe fits, I can't help that. But you know, that's why we're in the state that we're in. And I wish people would just get out of their own way and at least come to a place to try to understand, to try to look at things differently. Get out of that old school enslaved mentality, man. That's what's really, that's what really breaks my heart is the fact that people... What they did really worked, you know, for so many people. That breaks my heart because it's like so many of us are still clouded by that shit. Like, it really breaks my heart. My family, you know, just said something about one of my relatives, you know. And it really had me thinking like, you know, that's that probably that you probably right. Like they're probably true. Like basically a sub, a certain set of people is the reason why he's like he is. You know what I'm saying? Is the reason why he holds so which is nothing wrong with it. It's nothing wrong with it. And like I said, I'm not I'm not I don't pass no judgments, but it's still I can see that even as religious as he is. There's still, it's, 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 sometimes there's still um, a little hypocritical side to it because it's like, on the one hand, you're very spirit, you know, you're very religious. I'm not even going to say spiritual because it's more of that fake religion, right? That's what spirit gave me to say. So, you know what? I'm just, I'm not even going to try to censor my words. That's just, it is what it is. That's what has to come out. But, um, you know, that fake that facade that 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 bullshit that they've been that they've in, like in, ingrained in like just that's not the only way y'all that's not that's not it that's not the end all be all the bible is a tool just like the quran is a tool 
just like my cards, my tarot cards is a tool. I wish more people would truly understand that and stop trying to judge just because you don't understand what goes on and, and you know, what goes into this. I tap in and connect to God, the universe, just like you do through your Bible or through your church or through your sanctuary, wherever you go. It's the same thing. We just call it different shit. Words are words and it doesn't really matter, man. All that matters is what's in here. Like what you believe, what's in your heart, what's in your soul. That's all that matters. All this extra nonsense trying to put shit in a box to categorize it for what? That's slavement. That's trapment. Just don't come at me because I believe differently than you. When all when in all when in all actuality we really believe the same thing. That's what people don't understand. It's just a different set of lenses that we're looking through to see the same picture. That's all. That's all. Anyway, I just had to come get that out because it really just had me over here like, whoa, whoa, <laughs> rewind that. But, uh, yeah, I'm done. Peace.